How to use count function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explain video series, I am going to explain how you can use count function in Microsoft Excel. What are the parameters and what is the best way to use count function and why you should use it. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> The best way to learn a function is to apply it and in this tutorial I'm going to apply the count function in and while I'm applying the function I'm going to explain what are the parameters and what are the important things you should remember and why and how you should use the count function okay let's write the function here equal to count now if I click here you can see in the tooltips it says count the number of cells in a range that contains number. So basically count function works to count how many numbers you have in a certain data range. This is the main function for count. Okay. Now if I select here and you can see there is only one specific parameter here which is the data range value 1 value 2 and if you want you can write the value using comma and you can add value up to 255 times but you can also select the data range you can also use the combination like you select a data range then use a comma and added a value manually inside the function and then use another data range whatever you like you can do it as long as you follow the parameter with comma okay so let's simply select the data range and if I close parenthesis and if I press enter it should count how many cells in this data range has number okay now there are some things count consider and some things count doesn't consider so let's press enter and after that I'll explain what things count function considers now we selected this data range from cell A1 to cell A8 and we use count function in cell B3 and it's showing the result 3. Okay, if we count manually, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 values here and 1 empty cell. But still, the function count is showing us we have only 3 numbers. Why? First one, this error message count function doesn't consider error message. If I delete this, it doesn't change the result. That means it didn't count it. Okay. So so first thing you should remember count function doesn't consider any error messages and the last one here text only if we delete this count function didn't change that means it doesn't consider text now we have here text and number at a time so if we delete this you can see it still didn't consider okay because we had text and number now we have date here so if i delete this it is changing that means count function considers date as number okay now we have a decimal number here 1.5 if i delete this it also change the value that means it considers decimal number and the last one is if you write something in double quotation it didn't count it in count function if I delete this you can see it didn't change okay that means count function only consider number decimal number dates and it doesn't consider error messages blank cell text text and number in the same position if I format this cell and select it as text and if I click OK so you can see this cell is formatted as text but still count function is considering this okay that means it doesn't matter how you formatted your text but you can still count the numbers okay so this is how you can use count function and these are the important things you should consider while using count function okay this is what I wanted to show you I hope I have explained the count function to you and if you like this video series please let me know in this video series I will add a lot of functions and I will explain a lot of function for you now if you want to understand a specific function please let me know I will explain it to you okay thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can please support the channel through patreon thank you for watching